Let us all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Keep us alert, we pray, O Lord our God, as we await the advent of Christ your Son, so that when he comes and knocks, he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of prophet Isaiah. That day, the branch of the Lord shall be beauty and glory, and the fruit of the earth shall be the pride and adornment of Israel's survivors. Those who are left of Zion and remain of Jerusalem shall be called holy. And those left in Jerusalem noted down for survival. When the Lord has washed away the filth of the daughter of Zion and cleansed Jerusalem of the blood shed in her with the blast of judgment and the blast of destruction, the Lord will come and dress on the whole stretch of Mount Zion, and on those who are gathered there, a cloud by day and smoke, and by night, the brightness of a flaring fire. For over all, the glory of the Lord will be a canopy and a tent to give shade by day from the heat, refuge and shelter from the storm and the rain. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. I rejoice when I heard them say, Let us go to the God's house. I rejoice when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. I rejoice when I heard them say, Let us go to the God's house. And now our feet are standing within your ga gates, O Jerusalem. I rejoice when I heard them say, let us go to God's house. It is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. For Israel's law it is there to praise the Lord's name. There were set the thrones of judgment of the house of David. I rejoice when I heard them say, let us go to God's house. For the peace of Jerusalem pray, peace be to your homes. May peace reign in your walls, in your places, peace. I rejoice when I heard them say, let us go to God's house. For love of my brethren and friends, I say, peace upon you. 
For love of the house of the Lord, I will ask for your good. Response, let us rejoice when I heard them say, let us go to the God's house. Please rise. Let us all stand. Alleluia. 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 Alleluia, alleluia. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus went to Capernaum, a centurion came up and pleaded with him, Sir, he said, my servant is lying at home paralyzed and in great pain. I will come myself and cure him, said Jesus. The centurion replied, Sir, I am not worthy to have you under my roof. Just give the word and my servant will be cured. For I am under authority myself and have soldiers under me. And I say to one man, go and he goes. To another, come here and he comes. To my servant, do this and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was astonished and said to those following him, I tell you solemnly, nowhere in Israel have I found faith like this. And I tell you that many will come from east and west to take their places with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob at the feast in the kingdom of heaven. My dear friends, the gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. Boa tarde. Good afternoon, everyone. We are a group of pilgrims from the Philippines, and we are happy to celebrate this Mass with you today. The words of the Roman centurion, which we have heard in today's Gospel, are the very words we use in Mass after the Lamb of God. And this is a beautiful prayer inviting Jesus to be part of our household, to be part of our family life. Perhaps we can paraphrase the words of the centurion and say, Lord, I am not worthy to have you under my roof. Only say the word and all in my family will be well. Sister Lucia, the visionary of Fatima, died in 2005. But before her death, she predicted that the final battle between Christ and Satan would be over marriage and the family. The family is under attack now. And how do we strengthen our families? Let us invite God and Our Lady to be part of our own families. My dear friends, our family is God's gift to us. We can choose our friends. For some, they can choose their spouses, but we can never choose our family because they are God's gift to us. It is true that there are no perfect families, but we can make our families holy. We can strengthen our family when we invite God and Our Lady to be part of our family. I believe in the saying, the family that prays together stays together. When I was a child, I remember my mom would always call us in the evening to pray the rosary daily. When I asked her, why are we praying the rosary daily? She told me, because the family that prays together stays together. My dear friends, the family that goes to Mass every Sunday, the family that makes time for, for prayer, the family that has God at the center of their lives will stay together. In this Mass, let us lift up to Jesus our own families. Let us pray for each member of our family. Let us invite Jesus and Our Lady to be part of our families. 
and we say to the Lord, Lord, I am not worthy to have you under my roof. Only say the word, and all in my family will be well. Amen. Let us all stand. Today's gospel reminds us that we, that we are to prepare for the coming of the Lord this Advent season. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we are the clay and you are the potter. Keep us safe, O God, since we will never know how long we live. We pray. God, our Father, is the potter and we are like the clay in his hands. We pray that God will mold us to be like his son, Jesus. We pray. The good Samaritan in Jesus' parable said he will come back and pay the bill for the wounded traveler. May we remember with deep gratitude that Jesus has already paid our debt to God. We pray. In silence, let us remember our own intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, may this time of preparing for Christmas be a simple time of remembering rather than a celebration of money. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual dream. Let us all stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling, John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Per hipsum et cum ipso et in ipso, es Deo Patri Omnipotenti, in unitate Spirito Sancti, Omnis honor et gloria in secula seculorum. Amen. 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 Let us pray like Jesus as we say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may the Almighty God bless all of you gathered here, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass has been offered. Go in the peace of Christ. Let us sing a hymn to Our Lady. Immaculate Mother, to you do we plead to ask God our Father for help in our need. Ave, ave. 